Buy Natural Oil, Build Up Haiti. How a family-owned farm is producing high-quality oils from scratch and giving back to Haiti on Today's Common Good, presented by Amazon. Hey y'all, and welcome to Common Good. I'm Luria Freeman. In today's story, we're highlighting Papa Rosier Farms, a virtual, all-natural beauty storefront that has committed 100% of its profits towards building up Haiti. It all started with a school. After 2010's earthquake in Haiti, my sister and I decided to go to Haiti to help as professionals. Here living in the States, we felt that we can, at the very minimum, translate, just help communicate with everything that was going on. So we went down to Haiti. Obviously, devastation. But one of the things that we realized was a lot of the problems were pre-existing before the earthquake. They were just heightened by the earthquake. And once I went back, we decided we wanted to stick around and help our brothers and sisters in Haiti as much as we could. Rubens and his family quickly realized that at the basis of every thriving community is a strong education. And that's how Bati School was born. Bati School stands for Building IET to Inspire. The word Bati translated into Haitian Creole means literally to build. So we took a Creole word and we used it as an acronym in English to kind of draw the attention to people here, specifically Haitian Americans, but also back in Haiti, understanding we are here to build, IET to inspire. We started off with a school and we thought it was gonna be all about education and you know X's and O's and one, two, threes, but we realized that it's just much bigger. It's, it's community, it's, it's people, and the needs of the people are the same exact needs that we have here. The Future Leaders Wall is a wall that reminds us why we're doing everything we're doing. Anywhere we, we are operating in the States, we try to have different reminders of why we're doing it. When the days get tough, when you look at the Future Leaders Wall, you remember that it's much bigger than you. We learned that early on, that it's not about us. We also allow leadership to develop in Haiti. So the future leaders just brings us back centered. It brings us back grounded to why we're doing what we're doing. You can only have enough money <laughs> to continue doing this. So we were raising money, but our dream and what we saw could be done wasn't matching the money that was coming in through the fundraising, which is why Papa was I always say, was created out of necessity because you can have all these grandiose dreams and, and all of these things that you want to do, but if you don't have the funding for it, it's just the pipe dream. And that's how Papa Wozia was born. Haiti has a ton of natural resources, so it was just the right thing to do as far as turning to these resources that we felt the world would appreciate. So buying a product, literally, it's a reinvestment directly back into Haiti, whether it's the farm or the school. We have wholesale accounts that we have. You can find it in different cities across the US where you have different shops who are carrying our caster, but our main distribution point right now is on our website, www.papawoziafarms.com. But we also will be opening, reopening our storefront in 2024. We're very transparent, which is something that we pride ourselves on as far as you should know what is going on in your skin or in your body. And we show it to you from literally the moment it's grown all the way to when it's made. Everything starts with a seed. We plant the seed. Castor takes about six to eight months before our first harvest. Once we've harvested, we bring it to our drying patio, which then uh, allows the castor to kind of dry out. And then we pull the seeds out of the castor pod. Once we take it, we clean it in Haiti. We clean all the seeds and then the pressing starts. We usually press quarterly. And then finally, after anywhere from eight to 12 months, it makes it to someone's home, hopefully. Papa Rosier Farms' online storefront sells all types of natural beauty products that are farmed directly from their land in Haiti. Their products range from castor and moringa oil to vetiver incense and beeswax lotion bars. Castor oil is at the basis of everything Haitian. So we, whether it's for your hair, your skin, constipation, as a laxative, general infl inflammation health, castor oil in Haiti is the cure-all for everything. So that one was an easy one for us. We grew up 
consuming castor oil, using castor oil, we felt that that would be something that would be appreciated here in the States as everyone is looking for more natural alternatives, whether it's for their hair and their skin. And Moringa was an interesting story. That was actually my sister, her friend um, from Colombia, just told her, hey, I know you guys have a farm in Haiti. You should try this and hands her a handful of seeds. My sister brings it back. We talk to our agronomist in Haiti and he comes back and he's like, we have this all over the island. So, and we looked up and literally it was all over the island. So Moringa was something that we knew was coming down the pipeline. And since we were making castor, we felt that that was a, a good mix as far as making base oils for cosmetics. It absolutely is fulfilling. I've gotten more out of this project than I could ever give. Just the lessons over the years, the humbling, the understanding. I came from a totally different world as a young professional. I was working on for Goldman Sachs on Wall Street. It makes me understand people a little bit better. I'm a better listener, so I love it. And that's kind of what drew me away from the fast pace of New York to putting my hand in soil. Our See Good, Do Good challenge this week is to support your local community and give back, whether it's through supporting Papa Rosier Farms or paying it forward. That's it for today. I'd like to thank Amazon for presenting this episode. Thanks so much for watching Common Good. Mm -hmm.